For this movie, we're going to set up our baseline grid and apply it to our text. And we're also going to set up simple style sheets. This is our newspaper layout. And in this current view, you can see all these blue lines in the background. This is our baseline grid. A baseline grid enables you to align text evenly among columns or along the bottom of columns. You can apply a baseline grid either to all of your body copy or just a paragraph or two. We're going to apply it to all of our body copy. But you have to make sure that you know all of your document specifications, such as if I have a headline, what's my font going to be, what size is it going to be, what's my letting. Subhead, same thing. Body copy. So for instance, I know my body copy is going to be 10 point with 12 point letting. Your baseline grid is dependent upon your letting or a factor of your letting. So my letting is going to be 12 points. So let's set up our baseline grid. Go up to InDesign, go to Preferences, go to Grids. Right here, under Increment Every, this is the number, the field that you have to put your value in. And it's already says 12 points, so I don't have to change anything. Okay. Make sure your view threshold is 5% also so you can see those lines when you zoom out. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to show you how to turn your baseline grid on and off. Go to View, go to Grids and Guides. I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to come back and I am going to go to Grids and Guides and I'm going to show it. There's my baseline grid. Okay, try to get used to working with it in the background. That's my baseline grid. On to Style Sheets. Here's my Style Sheet palette, my paragraph styles. This is my basic paragraph, which I now have selected. Now it's not selected. You always have to be very careful what you're clicking on or not clicking on in this in this particular palette. And your program always comes with basic paragraph. It's your default style sheet. Never make changes to it. Don't even mess with it. Okay. Caption we had set up previously because we brought in this image in another movie. So let's set up the style sheets for our document. I'm going to go up to the contextual menu, click on paragraph style, new, and I'm going to name this one heading. And I know ahead of time what all my um, values are going to be. I'm basing this on no paragraph style because I don't want to capture any settings from a previous style. And if I go to basic character formats, you'll notice that this box basically mimics our um, character palette. And I want it to be fairly large, so I'll put 36. And I'm going to make this 44 points, a little bit extra on the letting for headlines. Indents and spacing, when I come down here, this mimics your paragraph palette. Um, I don't want any of the lines aligning to the grid. I don't want any indents. I want it to align to the left, and that looks pretty good, so I'm going to click OK. All right, let's do another new paragraph style sheet. I'm going to go new paragraph style sheet. This one I'm going to name um, subhead. This one I'm going to base on my heading, okay? because it's going to capture some of these styles that I already have. So look, bold. I wanted Helvetica. I'm just going to make this regular. I'm going to make this about mm, 20 points, and I'm going to make this 24 points, my letting. Okay? And the reason why is because I do want this to align to the grid. 24 is a factor of 12, so it's going to align nicely. And I think that's all I want to do for subhead. That looks good, so I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click on Basic Paragraph and click off because I just want to be sure that when I open new paragraph style, I don't have any headings that are hiding in here. Sometimes these things are tricky. I'm going to go body copy. So I know that for my body copy, I'm going to use Palatino regular. I want it to be 12 points. Eh, it's too big. That's my size. My letting, I want to be 12 points. There's my letting. Okay. I'm going to go to indents and spacing. I want it to be left justified, meaning that it's going to be my text is going to go from margin to margin in my column, and the last line is going to be aligned to the left. This is proper. I'm going to have one pica indent, and I'm going to align all my lines to the grid. Then under justification, which is also found in the contextual menu under your paragraph uh, palette, I'm going to put some magic numbers in here because I want to make sure that I do not have any ugly gaps in my justified text, also known as rivers. So these settings, you're just going to have to come to know and love right here. Okay. And I'm going to click OK, because I think that's all I wanted to do. Yes. Okay. So I have my body copy. Let's look at this again. And that looks good. And subhead, heading, and I'm missing one thing. So I want um, a byline. So I'm going to go up under here and go new paragraph style. And notice this says subhead. So you've got to be careful. I want this actually to be based upon body copy. 
and I'm going to name it Byline. And when I go here to basic character formats, I want this to actually be Palatino Italic. And indents and spacing, I do not want an indent on my Byline. I click OK, so that's good. And one more to go, and that's First Paragraph. So I'm going to name this First Paragraph. Oh, I'm going to capitalize that. And it's based on subhead, so once again, I'm I'm got to be careful. I want to base this on my body copy. So first paragraphs, no matter what you're doing, are never indented. So I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to take off my indentation. Okay, everything else should be the same. My justification is fine. My character formats here are fine, and I'm going to click OK. So now I have all my basic paragraphs set up. I'm going to click on basic paragraph just to make sure that that one is selected and click away because when I import my text, if you have any of these selected, it's going to apply that style sheet and it's going to look weird. So I always click on basic paragraph. Always be aware of what's going on in this palette. Okay, let's bring my text in for my first article. Command D or file place. I'm going to bring in my heroin article. And notice basic paragraph kind of lit up there, which was good. I'm going to click here, and it flows all the text from my article. I know from my thumbnails I want this to go along three columns underneath my, my image here. And that looks really good. And I'm going to zoom in so we can start applying this and you can see what happens. And you're going to be so amazed because it's so easy. Make sure you have your hard returns, your invisibles. If they're not, go up to type. Go down to show hidden characters, okay? And I'm going to simply put my cursor within this first paragraph. Paragraph styles are paragraph um, activated, so you don't have to have selection of text here. You just have to have it within the paragraph. And I want this to be my headline, so I'm going to just click on Heading. And there you go. This line is broken. I don't want that, so I'm going to put my cursor there and hit Shift Return to put in a soft return to control where I want the line to break, and this is the invisible character for a soft return. Going down, this is my subhead right here. So let's go to subhead, and I'm going to click on subhead. There's my subhead. Notice how it's nicely, this one we aligned to the grid. Notice how it's going on the grid. Notice how this one is not. Here's my byline. I'm going to click here and go byline. There's my byline. Here is my first paragraph. I have my cursor in my first paragraph, and I'm going to hit first paragraph. Very nice. And then for the rest of my article, let me zoom out and I'm going to just click and drag like so. And I'm going to hit body copy. A little bit of extra text showed up because there was text that was hidden. I'm going to click body copy again and it looks pretty good. So really within a few clicks, I have formatted all of my text. Now I see one little thing here that I want to change and I want a little bit of space between my byline and my headline. So this is why style sheets are literally so easy to use and so beautiful. I'm going to click to the side, make sure I have nothing selected. I'm going to open my byline like so and I've got preview selected. I'm going to try to move this over so you can see. So watch this. When I go to my indents and spacing, I want to put a little bit of space before. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, just at one. I can just hit one, and that's going to automatically push it down one line because I'm going beyond my 12-point baseline grid to 13 points, so it pushes it automatically to the next line. I'm going to click OK. Oh, and I noticed that somehow my first paragraph, I lost that. So let's go here and click first paragraph. So I fixed that. And basically, it's it's finished. Let me go put this in a larger view. And I'm going to click on my side here, click away. I'm going to click on basic paragraph. Whoops, just wanted to do it once. I did it twice. And I'm going to bring in another article, Command-D or File Place. I'm going to bring in the article on ISIS. And Notice basic paragraph because I clicked there before I open my article. I'm just going to click up here, okay? And then I'm going to drag this over. I'm also going to make this three columns, okay? And now we can start to format this. Let me zoom in again so you can see how easy this is. I'm going to click in my um, first paragraph because here's my headline and click heading. There's my heading. I'm going to click here in my second paragraph, which is my subhead. I'm going to click here, which is my third paragraph, which is my byline. Notice how it pushed it down a little bit. Right here is my first paragraph. 
And then I'm going to click and I'm just going to go like this all the way down. And I'm going to choose body copy. And it kind of sucked it all up a little bit and revealed some of the hidden text from our overflow. And I'm just going to select that and collect, select body copy again. And literally, my copy is now so easy. Boom. It's, uh, it's done. If I have any text overflow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another small text box. And we're just going to make a jump line, which is simply says... T I N, you know, you continued on page seven. Well, let's just say seven A, okay? And a byline is always a line two. I'm going to line this to the to the right. I'm going to make it, and I'm coming in here. I'm manually doing this. You can set up a style sheet if you want to. I'm going to make this um, nine points, and I'm actually going to make it italic too. And then I'm just going to simply align it like right down here like so. Now, I'm going to push this up just a little bit so that I have a little bit of extra room for my byline like so. And I can do this one seems like it's like it's OK. It ends OK, but this one doesn't. So let's push this one up so it's nice and even. And a matter of fact, that does have some text overflow. See that little red thing there? So I'm just going to select this, Option Copy. Change the number here. We'll make it like we'll put in page eight A. Okay, so I have my jump line set up. I have my headline set up. Subhead, byline, first paragraph, and body copy, and it looks absolutely great. With newspapers, it's always a um, premium amount of space, so you will always find that's the general rule: newspapers text justified. And that's that. Good luck on your newspapers.